Hi, this is David Hall with Craft Music, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Yamaha Smart Pianist app. This is a free app from Yamaha that allows you to control the functions and features of your digital piano in a much easier visual manner. Today I have my tablet connected to a Yamaha Clavinova CLP685. I'm using the optional Wi-Fi wireless adapter, but you can also use your USB cable. The Smart Pianist app is compatible with a growing list of Yamaha digital pianos and keyboards, so contact Kraft Music for the latest in compatibility. The app automatically adjusts to the instrument that it's connected to, which allows you to access all of the controls, functions, and features of your particular instrument. When you launch the app, you'll be presented with a menu, which you can double check to make sure that your instrument is connected. At the bottom, you'll see the instrument connected with a green dot. Plus, you'll have different areas to work with. Here's piano room, voice, or song. Within the piano room, you'll be able to access all of the different piano sounds and the environments that they are played in. Here's the Bosendorfer. We're in the concert hall. Here's the Studio Grand, also in the concert hall. This is the upright piano, but now we're in the chamber. You can move through the different environments within the tablet. So let's go back to the CFX Grand Piano. Here it's currently in the recital hall. If I wanted to modify that recital hall and make it larger, I just go to the settings and I can adjust the depth. Here's a small concert hall. Here's a big concert hall. In addition to the environment, there are several other adjustments available within Piano Room. For example, lid position. We can have it be open, half open, or closed. We can adjust the brightness of our piano hammers from something very mellow to something very bright. or something in between. The touch curve allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the keyboard. Perhaps you're a heavy-handed player or someone who plays with a lighter touch. You can adjust the settings to compensate. You can adjust the tuning of the instrument to match any other instrument you're playing along with. This is very common in churches where the pipe organ may be slightly out of tune. We can raise or lower the pitch and to reset it back to the standard 440, just double tap the screen. Other adjustments include damper resonance, string resonance, aliquot resonance, body resonance, key off sampling, half pedal points, and you can even set each key to have a unique setting. As you can see, you can really dig deep and dial in that exact sound you're looking for. Next, we have the voice menu. From here, we have complete control over all of the sounds within our specific instrument. We can layer, we can split, we can set split points on the instrument. It's very easy to do and very visual. So we wanted to layer something. We can pick the sound. I want a slow string along with my main grand piano and we play. I can also select the sound for the left. In this example, I have an acoustic bass. So now I have grand, slow strings, and bass. On the lower part of the screen, we see a keyboard that's showing our current split point setting. To change it, simply press and hold, and then touch the key that I'd like to move it to. To turn off the layered sound or the sound on the left side of the keyboard, just touch the word layer and left. For ease of access, there's some additional functions down below on the screen. We have a mixer, which will allow you to adjust the different levels of volume. Next, we have a metronome.
Once I have the sound combination to my liking, I can save that as a user preset or otherwise known as a registration. This makes it easy for accessing that combination later down the road. Now let's get into the song menu. Remember that the app conforms to the instrument that it's connected to. Within your piano, you have songs that are pre-recorded, and this app will access those in a very easy and visual manner. On the 685, I have 50 classics available. From here, I can scroll through the different songs in that selection, select one, press done, and I can see the score. From here, I can just listen to it, or I can turn off the right hand and play along with it. In addition to the 50 classics, we have the lesson pieces from Bayer, Cherney, Hannon, and so on. We also have demo songs available. In addition to the pre-recorded songs in your instrument, Yamaha has the ability to access your iTunes library with Smart Pianist. From here, you can view your playlists, the songs that you have, either by title or by artist. You can then load that song into the app. It will analyze it, and it will display the chord map or the score, depending on the capabilities of your instrument. This is an amazing way for you to interact with the songs in your music library and have more fun working with songs that you already know and love. For example, here's a song by Yamaha music artist Gabriel Aladart called Ain't Gonna Forget My Keys. When I load this song in, I can display the chord map for that song. When I play the song back, I can see the chord changes happening in real time. This is especially helpful if I would like to play along with the song, learn the song, or maybe I play another instrument such as guitar, then I can strum along with the chords and know exactly what I'm playing. So there you have it, the Yamaha Smart Pianist app. It's a great way for you to unlock the potential of your Yamaha instrument. If you have any questions about this app or need help getting it connected, contact one of our sales advisors for help. For Craft Music, I'm David Hall. Thanks for watching.